Hello, thank you for joining the Healing Unicorns Tarot uh, Ministry channel. Today, we're going to be doing a reading for Portia Williams. Tapping into her energy and see what's going on and trying to find out what is the tea? What is the tea? What is going on with Portia Williams, okay? Alright, starting out with the Angels of Atlantis deck, okay? Ruwa Kakadash, what messages do we have for Portia Williams? Please and thank you. For Portia Williams, please, Ruwa Kakadash. What messages do we have for Portia Williams? Please and thank you. is the tea please and thank you Ruach I can actual messages do we have from Portia Williams please What messages do we have for Portia Williams? Please and thank you. We had Zach Kiel with Surrender, but it fell on the floor. So I'm going to put that back because I don't take floor cards. For Portia Williams, please, Ruwa Kakadash. What messages do we have for Portia Williams? Please and thank you. For Portia Williams. What messages do we have for Portia Williams, please? We have the forgiveness card with Jafiel. Forgiveness. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, we have Metatron with Miracles, and there is a baby on this card, okay? Alright, let's see what Jaffiel has to say with Forgiveness. When you draw this card, Jaffiel asks you to release the negative feelings of the past, to let go of the substance of the pain that stops you from living a life of unlimited joy and love. Forgiveness does not mean you accept inappropriate behavior towards yourself. It means that you no longer are prepared to carry the pain of reaction within you. When we hold unforgiveness in our hearts, we may be stabbed by bitterness. Let Jophiel take the burden from you. By chanting ha, three times your heart chakra will feel changed and enlivened. And ha is H-A. Alright, there's some forgiveness that needs to go on here. Jophiel is asking for forgiveness. Alright, or Portia is asking for forgiveness, okay? Tapping in. Ruwa Kakadash for Portia. What messages do we have for Portia Williams, please? What is the tea? What is going on between Portia and Simon? What is the tea, Ruwa? Ruwa Kakadash, what is the tea for Portia Williams, please? Portia Williams, please, and thank you. All right, Ruach Kakadash, what messages do we have for concerning Portia Williams? What is the team? 
Peace and thank you. Ooh, wee. That flew up out of there. And it was the coffin card, but it fell on the floor. So we're not going to take that. All right, we have the official person. Okay. What is the tea, Ruwa Kakadash? What messages do we have concerning Portia Williams? We have the thief card that came out sideways. All right, what else from Wakakadash? What other messages for Portia Williams, please? We have the mature woman. All right. We want Kakadash. What else? We have courthouse. And we have a gift here, a spiritual gift here. And we have the journey card at the bottom of the deck with a house and imprisonment and concern with expectation, okay? Those were the last five at the bottom of the deck. So, we want to clarify and see what's going on here. But there is an official person, somebody with rank, somebody high class, some maybe some form of military, some um, official person here, uh, a delegate. Um, this person has many accolades, okay? Successful. And we have this thief card here that came sideways. There's a woman here and a man with another young man here um, with his hand on his gold pocket watch here with this young with this woman in the back smirking. So there's been some type of theft or there is a thief somewhere um, with the mature woman. As the next card, somebody that's older, who's sitting and waiting. Something to do with a courthouse. And some type of spiritual gift here. Some some type of gift here. And there's a journey that somebody is going on. A couple is going on. Um, somebody witnessing this. Um, there's a couple back here witnessing this man on this journey here um and there's a house somewhere okay let's clarify ruach hakadash what messages do we have for portia williams please and thank you For Portia Williams, please and thank you. Clarification. What is the T? Clarification. For Portia Williams, please. We walk Kakadash. There's some secrets with the moon card. Some secrets, some illusions, some lies, maybe. Some um, addictions, maybe. Clarification. 
for Portia Williams, please. Ruwa Kapadash, please. And thank you. Uh oh. Clarification of the official person, please, Ruwa Kakadash. For Portia Williams, please, the official person. We have the Queen of Swords here. And we have the Ace of Wands sideways. And this Ace of Wands fell out sideways on top of this mature woman. Connecting it to a thief. But I'm clarifying for the um, official person here. Okay. So there's a Queen of Swords here. Somebody who is willing to fight. Somebody who is ready. Strong. Um, somewhat intelligent here with this queen of swords here. She's sitting on a throne claiming her um, her victory her success with this ace of wands sideways on top of this official person but this uh, ace of wands is connecting to the thief card as well so there was some type of success in in um, stealing something here. Clarification of the official person for Portia Williams. We have the two of swords here. This is somebody um, not making a decision, waiting to the last minute to make a move here. Um, somebody who lacks clarity here or um, they have some type of trick up their sleeve because they're prey this wolf back here is lurking and they're pretending like they're not paying attention as if they have some type of secret attack or they're just not paying attention they're um they can't see what's going on behind them there's some lack of clarity here clarification of the official person please And we have the um, the yin and yang symbol that is on this lady's um, shirt as well with the two of swords. So there's some type of balance, a lack of clarity. Um, somebody is trying to balance something, but they're not quite balanced because her foot, you know, they're not um, grounded. They're not quite level. There's something um, going on in the mental right here. And then we have the Knight of Wands. This is fast movement, quick, fast, hurry move, hurried movement. A lot of fire energy, a lot of passion, quick passion here towards success. With the King of Wands here that flipped over with the um, Knight of Wands. So the King of Wands is moving quickly towards this um, queen of swords here who needs to make a decision she may be guarded she may be guarded she may not be seeing things clearly she may have a clouded vision but um, there's some type of success or um, a partial success and um, with this official person but there is a thief somewhere okay this partial success is connected to this thief card one more time for the official person, please, clarification. For the official person, please. And we have the seven of swords. So something was definitely stolen here um, with the seven of swords. There's some tricks. There's some deception, what they call treachery, okay? Um, waiting into the night 
to deceive someone, to walk away, to steal something here. Okay. And we have the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this was something financial, um, financially uh, generated here. Or the motive was for financial balance here. They were juggling um, something uh, financially here. But they wanted success. They wanted balance within their finances. So they're trying to find a way to balance that out. Who is doing this? This empress um, is doing this here. And... Um, Empress representing Mother Earth here, fertility, abundance, love, um, wisdom, a wife here, okay? Um, as I was saying, it represents fertility here. So um, there is a possibility um, that somebody is trying to balance something or gain something uh, financially here um, through some type of decision because we have the two of swords that came out as well. Yeah, the two of swords with the queen of swords. Okay. And we have the three of pentacles, which was the next card. So there's some type of teamwork, um, a collective effort. Okay. And um, whatever this business venture is, this balancing of finances here. A new opportunity here. A decision being made about finances um, building finances here with the three of pentacles um, and with the proposal and offer a love with the two of cups yeah there was an offer of love between two people a lovers a, some type of proposal it could be a business proposal because we have the two of cups um, with the two of pentacles here and we have the two of swords. So there was definitely some type of decision that was being made. Um, it was partially successful as of right now because the ace of swords is sideways. Um, but there was some type of proposal here. Some type of love offering. Some type of business offering. To this queen of cups. Yeah. There was definitely a proposal of marriage here. And the devil card is right behind it. So there's some type of tricks, some type of trap, some type of deception that's going on here. With the eight of swords um, behind that. So what I'm getting with that is with the eight of swords in this deck representing the fire energy. There's some type of uh, mental um, game or deception that's going on with this... Um, official person okay with the devil card coming out and we have the seven of swords that's um touching this um king of wands here um that's moving quickly with the knight of wands there's some type of um mental manipulation going on there okay clarification on the thief card please for um portia Williams, please. Ruwa Kakadash. What is the tea? Clarification, excuse me. Clarification of the thief card, please. Ruwa Kakadash. It was the six of swords in reverse, but it fell on the floor. I already know how I feel about that. Clarification of the Thief card, please. We have this Emperor card that came out. Emperor represents some um, a successful man, um, a man of very of. Um, the emperor is like a king, but he's more than a king because he possesses possesses many territories here. So um, he also represents um, like royalty. He represents um, a, a suitable father, a suitable husband, a protector, a provider here. Okay. Clarification on the thief card, please, Ruwa Kakadash. 
We have the Nine of Swords here. Clarification of the Thief card, please, Ruba Takadash. All right, we have the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. I'm not going to take those because they came out, but I will read them with that. So with this Emperor and this Nine of uh, Swords, and then with the Nine of Cups is what I'm getting is there was some type of um, decision here that was made. Okay, because the, the swords represent information. It represents um, the air. A sword represents air. About being in the mind, intellect, okay? So with this nine of swords here is, if you see her, this person, they're um, covering their face with their head down in front of this circle of fire with these swords that would have made some type of um, basically the witch's circle is what they would call it the witch's circle okay um, but their their hands are covering their face in shame okay there's some type of nightmare here and the nine of swords represents a entity attachment so this emperor, this queen, excuse me, not this emperor, this queen of swords waved her um, her wand with the ace of wands, to be, which was partially successful in when she made that decision to wave that wand. She was partially successful in obtaining this emperor to um, take something away because it's on top of the thief card um, and it's connecting the official person to this mature woman here um so it's to take something away here with that nine of cups that came out which was a, a wish fulfillment okay harmony um but everything um this is wish fulfillment but there's something missing it's not quite the ten of cups it's the nine of cups so there's something that's still missing from that wish fulfillment okay and then we had the um, Ten of Wands, which was a burden. There's some type of burden. Somebody is not looking at where they're going. They can't see the path before them and they can't see behind them. They're very blind here. Okay. Um, and they're carrying a whole lot of rods, a whole lot of sticks with them. So there's a lot of burdens, um, baggage to come with this Nine of Swords here, this shame, this humiliation this um, entity attachment this darkness with these burdens this darkness may be the burden I don't know and then there's um, fast for there's fast forward movement here and information with the um, knight of swords okay very fast forward movement Clarification of the Thief card, please, Ruach Kakadash. For Portia Williams, the Thief card. The Thief card, please, Ruach Kakadash. We have the King of Swords in reverse. And the Knight of Swords came out again with the Ten of Wands came out again. Ruach, do not be playing, okay? So as I was saying, there's some type of attachment that came when there, um, with this Queen of Swords when she made the, this decision that she she probably um, 
didn't see too clearly. She didn't look too far um, ahead in, okay? She was blinded by something here, probably by this emperor here um, with this thief card. There was some type of entity attachment that happened here. This nine of swords. Somebody is um, having nightmares here. This is a mental prison here. Okay. And um, with this king of swords here, somebody is not truthful in reverse. That will complete this, um, this queen of swords with this king of swords here. There's some type of forward movement, some type of fast forward movement, information, investigation, some type of um, details, okay? Some type of intellect that's coming forward fast, that's going to be burdensome, that was burdensome. I also want to say that there is multiple men on this um, on this spread so far yet. We, there's four men out here. There's the official person. There's somebody, the King of Wands here. Um, there's an Emperor and there's um, a King of Swords in reverse here. And the King of Swords is touching, is in between. Um, this emperor and the seven of swords okay so there was some type of finances there was some, not finances there was something that was stolen here between two men we have the king of wands the seven of swords and the king of swords in reverse so somebody wasn't very truthful here um but there was some type of treachery here in between this king of swords, this emperor, and this king of wands. And the king of swords is the only one that is um, in reverse. So he's very aggressive. Um, he's very um, intelligent. He's intelligent. He's aggressive. And he knows how to use his words for the good and for the bad. Um, he may also be um, not uh, truthful. Okay. Okay. Because I feel like he's stolen something from the King of Wands. And he's stolen something from um, the Emperor as well. This is all on top of the Thief card. Okay, clarification of the Mature Woman, please, Ruwa Kakadash. The Mature Woman, please. We have the Chariot. In reverse clarification of the mature woman please we have the moon card here please we have the moon card here and this moon card was um, in reverse but I just flipped it when I turned it over so I'm getting with that that um, there's some delays and some secrets um, with this mature woman here, there's some delays and with this chariot card, there's some delays in travel. There's in, some delays in forward movement of this woman, this mature woman, um, and this moon card. Somebody wants to, um, expose something here, illuminate something to, um, shine a light on something, reveal a secret here. Um, but... As I said, it came out in, re in reverse. So there's some type of blocking. Some, there's something that's trying to block this uh, mature woman from revealing this secret here. Um, with the seven of chariot. is a uh, seven of chariot. Number seven, which is the chariot in reverse. So there's definitely some type of delays. Okay, clarification of the mature woman. We have the six of swords here in reverse. So yes, there's some delays. Clarification 
of the mature woman, please. And we have the strength card. And this mature woman is trying to remain strong from being, um, she's being delayed here. Stop blocked because this um, Six of Swords is right next to the Ten of Wands, which is burdens. Yeah, and this mature woman is being blocked or um, stopped from um, revealing something here with this moon card. And she's trying to remain strong. She's trying to stand in her power. She's trying to remain balanced here. With the strength card. An inner knowing here. Waiting for something. Judgment at the bottom of the deck for an equal for an equalizer. Some type of balance. Some type of um, ending here. This judgment can also have something to do with the court. There's a hidden hand up here. Um, almost like divine guidance because they have a wand in their hand. I don't know if you can actually see that wand. But there's some type of hidden hand. That's um, They're waiting for something to come um, through and to expound judgment onto this situation here. Maybe about this secret something that this um, mature woman is being blocked um, from and as I said that with the judgment card I'm reminded that the next card is the courthouse card so um, this mature woman is being blocked she's waiting she's in a waiting um, period um, with the six of swords in reverse and the seven of the chariot in reverse with this moon card here in the strength card she's being this mature woman is being strong and um, holding on to whatever secret it is there is some type of um, information here that's being illuminated that wants to be illuminated but it's being blocked okay they're waiting on judgment from this courthouse for a new beginning with the world card this Queen of Cups the original wife the true wife okay Ruach Kakadash, clarification of the courthouse, please, Ruach Kakadash, for Portia Williams. Clarification of the courthouse. We have the Page of Wands here. There's some, um, let's see. With this Page of Wands here, there's some birds that are talking here, spirit. Um, some um, information is three people. It's maybe three people. This may be three times that they had this comfort, um, confirmation of a conversation. Um, they heard this through the grapevine. They heard something. They're waiting on a message here with this page of wands. I don't know. Somebody's waiting on a message. They're waiting to hear something back. Or they've already heard something, whether it be through spirit or through um, actual people, okay? Or um, they witnessed something visually with their eyes and it was confirmed to them three times. Clarification of the courthouse, please, Ruwa Kakadash. We have the page of pentacles. And um, with this page of wands, they may have um, heard something. This mature woman may have heard a secret, may have heard um, this message. A message was given to her about this secret because it's touching the moon card. Clarification. Oh, we. That flew out of there. We had the eight of cups in reverse. 
And we have the seven of pentacles that flew out on the floor. So with that, um, with this eight of cups in reverse, somebody doesn't want to walk away from um, a relationship here that's um, going to this courthouse here. Somebody's trying to remain strong um, and not walking away from this uh, relationship here because they've seen um, it as successful here with this page of pentacles. They have some type of success, um, successful business. Um, we have the page of wands and the page of pentacles with the eight of cups in reverse, touching the strength card. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to um, walk away or end a relationship. I'm saying it's probably this mature woman here. The Four of Pentacles. I will believe um, it's this mature woman here that is um, trying to remain strong here. But there's some blockages. There's definitely some blockages here, some delays. They may be having some car trouble here. Um, they're not traveling. But they're trying to remain strong. Um, the communication may be cut off with the Six of Swords in reverse. Um, they're trying to um, remain strong. That I'm also getting here. With the Strength card, the Eight of Cups, and the Page of Wands in a courthouse. I'm, tr I'm getting that um, this mature woman... Is trying to remain strong that this this end of this relationship isn't that that this relationship is not going to end, and she's waiting on a message from the courthouse that says that um, something is successful here, and it could be the protection of money here, the control of some type of money. There's something about a possession here being guarded about a possession here, something financial here. Because this is eclipsing the page of pentacles and also the four of pentacles. So this could be um, successful in um, some type of child support here. With the page of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Or this could be some type of success in, um, in a business. With that page of pentacles. Um, with the seven, the seven of pentacles. That's the one that flew out on the floor because they were building something. They were they're trying to reap a harvest for something that they built with the teamwork with the um three of pentacles next. Something that they worked together as a team on uh and building and planting these um these pentacles in the ground and yielding and actually sowing the ground so that so that they can yield a reward here. Which was, yeah, the Seven of Wands, a public recognition, a victory here. They want their victory. And they're waiting on it. They're going to wait on it. Four of Swords. They're going to wait. Yeah. For a proposal, for a new beginning, for a new offer, okay? I don't know who that new offer is for, but I feel like this is for the mature woman. Because the kings are way over here. And we, <laughs> there's only one woman right here. Okay. Clarification of the gift card, please, Ruach Hakadash. For Portia Williams, please. The gift card, please, and thank you for Portia Williams. We have the Nine of Pentacles, sideways. So the Nine of Pentacles, sideways. Next to the Ace, the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Let's see what else. Clarification of the gift card, please, Ruwa Kakadosh. 
we have the Page of Swords. We have the Five of Swords, sideways. We have the Queen of Wands, sideways. So here's what I'm getting here um, about this gift card with the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay. This gift card, somebody wants to be financially taken care of. The Nine of Pentacles represents a home, it represents a garden, it represents um, reaping one's harvest, having being fruitful and multiplying, okay? But it came out sideways, so this is not truly fully reaping one's harvest. This is not, this is someone almost like being invited into this home, this house here where this woman is being taken care of, is being pampered in. It's not quite theirs. Okay, but they're um because it's sideways, so the gift is just access to that. Okay, and there's some type of um young communication here, some type of um create some creativeness, um, some type of uh what's the word I'm looking for? Um Okay, the page of swords represents intelligence, it represents creativity, it represents investigations, it represents um, somebody who needs constructive criticism. Okay, and it also represents um, young-mindedness and um, mental illness, okay? The sword. So somebody has been invited with this gift card there's been some type of um invitation that they see as successful because it's linked to the page of pentacles okay um somebody sees this as a, a, a business adventure and there's a lot of talk a lot of gossip a lot of um fights that's going on with this here with the five of swords sideways and with the sideways I'm feeling like there's been some there's not all truthful here true information here this gossip that's going on um, this may be somebody from their past this may be an old enemy there's a lot of jealousy some um, Yeah, there's there's some type of jealousy and envy going on here. Some lies, some deception, and um, somebody is ending up hurt with that. And we have this Queen of Wands here. And she's facing towards the Four of Pentacles here. So I'm feeling like... Um, She's not um, very nice here. The Queen of Wands is, you know, fiery energy here. Um, a very creative, a very attractive person. Um, sexy, um, very outgoing here. Um, but they do things for finances here with the Four of Pentacles right next to it. They're very controlling about finances. They're very overly protective about their possessions here. Okay. Yeah. Now at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. Somebody wants to work together. There's a decision that has to be made about which business this person wants to work with. With this Three of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles right behind it. With the Two of Wands. And you see this person, they clearly need to make a decision. 
You just have the three and the two um, with the two of pentacles. Somebody clearly needs to make a decision here, but they're in their comfort zone, so they don't want to move. They don't want to make a decision. They're comfortable. Um, and if you can see, both of their hands are, their, their foot is bound and their hand is bound. Okay. Between these two um, flat poles, and they're happy sitting there um, on this this um, tree stoop or whatever you want to call it, talking to the bird, trying to be in tune with um, spirit, with nature around themselves, but they are tied. They're tied. They're content. They're in a contentment state. Okay, they're not um, actually recognizing what's ahead of them and what's behind them the only thing that matters is what's right now and that's for this queen of cups who's wants to be victorious i don't know who that um somebody wants a victorious um union here that could represent portia or that could represent the ex so they want the union with this king of pentacles here this earth sign there's some there's multiple men here with the judgment card after that. I don't know what that means, but there is multiple win, men that came out in this um spread here. Multiple men. Okay, let's dig a little deeper though and see what's going on. Okay, Ruach Hakadash. What's really going on? What's the real tea? Ruach Hakadash for Portia Williams. What is the real team for Portia Williams, please, Ruach? Please and thank you. Clarification of the official person, please. With this Queen of Swords, this Ace of Wands, and the Two of Swords, please. And thank you, Ruach Hakadosh, the official person. Let's dig a little deeper. We have the King of Pentacles sideways, and he just came out in that last um, deck. So I'm saying this King of Pentacles could represent this official person. Clarification of this official person, please. We have the Nine of Wands. I'm sorry about that. That's my child going in and out the house. And we have the Queen of Wands. Right, clarification of the official person. Dang it. It was the lover's card that flew out to the floor. Okay. We have the king of swords. Listen, I told y'all there was multiple men out here. And we have the Hermit card. So what I'm getting here is that um, there is another man who may have been blocked by this king, this queen of wands here. She came out twice, the queen of wands. With this nine of wands. There's some type of blockage here towards this king of pentacles, somebody who's financially stable, somebody who um, can also represent a husband as well, somebody who's strong, who's upright, who's business savvy here. He could represent... Um, the official person at one he could represent that person or he could represent someone else but there's also another man here this king of swords here 
Um, I feel like the King of Swords is the one who is blocked. Um, who's in a hermit mode. He's in a separation mode. He's in a, a, a mode of learning. Um, going within himself. Um, secluding himself. Um, and learning some type of information. Some type of education. Um, doing some type of changing the betterment of himself. Is what I'm getting here. And... Um, this king of swords is also laying on top of this king of wands. Now, earlier, I told you that um, this king of swords, there was some type of fast movement with this king of wands here. And there was some, some treachery that happened with the seven of swords by this king of swords that's in reverse. Somebody who uses their um, words very aggressively. Somebody who's not truthful here. He may be very intelligent. He may know a lot of words. But um, he's very aggressive with his words. And he's not truthful. Okay. And then he has some type of connection to this emperor here. Who's connected to this king of pentacles. Who is this official person. Okay. And it's, um, yeah, that's what it is. This official person is this king of pentacles who's an emperor here that stole something. Something was stolen. Something was stolen here. Um, with this king of uh, wands who, with that knight of wands that came out too, there was some fast movement within this relationship here with this King of Swords and this King of Wands. The King of Swords could represent the King of Wands, this fast moving person who's not faithful here. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what that is. There was a, a liar who wasn't very faithful. And then there's this um, official person who's a king of pentacles. He's very financially stable. And he's some type of emperor, some type of ruler. Some, he has a lot of power, a lot of control. And there's a connection to this queen of wands here. Who can't see too clearly. This queen of wands is sitting right on top of... The two of swords. There's some wolves behind her, and she doesn't see them. She's un she's unclear what's re what's truly going on behind her. This queen of wands is. All right, clarification of the thief card, please, Ruach Kakadash. The thief card. Also at the bottom of the deck is the three of swords. Somebody is heartbroken about this. And they're trying to move away with the six of wands. Somebody is very heartbroken about this. And it's um, about, they're moving away towards the will of fortune, excuse me. And an entity attachment here. And the Nine of Pentacles also represents um, a kept woman, um, <coughs> a sex worker, a, a woman who is willing to do anything for finances, um, for a home, for a, a lavish life, okay, as well. There's an emptiness that's within that person who's in this Nine of Pentacles state. Clarification of the Thief card, please. The Emperor and the Nine of Swords. We have the Four of Swords sideways. The Thief card, please, Ruwa Kakadash. We have the Six of um, Wands that fell out on the floor. Clarification of the thief card, please. We 
We have the Queen of Pentacles sideways. Have the Nine of Cups. We have the Page of Swords. So what I'm getting here is um, this Queen of Pentacles is waiting for their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment to come through. And they're being patient about this with this um, Page of Swords. They're being patient waiting on what they have stolen. This Queen of Wands and this Queen of Pentacles is linking together here. Um... So she's trying to wait on her um, king of pentacles. With this knight of swords um, and this page of swords. With this ten of wands touching one another. This relationship is going to be burdensome. There's some fast quick information and there's definitely some type of investigation going on. There's some type of mental um, games that's being played here. There's definitely some type of mental games that's being played here. This is all on top of the Nine of Swords. Um, nightmares. Um, somebody who's stuck in their mind. Somebody who's having a mental... Somebody that has a mental disorder. Period. Period. Okay. There's some type of information that's coming forward. Um, this burdens... Um, from an institution, some type of court, as I was saying earlier. Um, somebody wants to be victorious about this. Somebody's waiting to be victorious about that. Um, but there's a secret that um, is being revealed here. Um, Ten of Pentacles. With the Two of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Yeah, there's some type of um, creative plan. There's some type of creative plan here. Somebody tried to create a plan. Okay. The Queen of Swords, the Fool, and the Hangman is what fell out on the floor. Um, this Queen of Swords tried to create a plan, being foolish, tried to take a leap of faith, but they didn't think about the consequences of what their actions would be. And the actions is to hang men. It's a trap. Um, there's going to be some type of seclusion, some type of um, dark night of the soul, balancing of the light and the dark for somebody to um, be able to transform out of this situation. This is um, the hangman. It's a dead man in water with piranhas feasting at their feet. So, I don't know about that. Clarification of the mature woman, please, Ruach Kakadash. The mature woman, please. Clarification of the mature woman, please. On the table, please. It was the two of pentacles. On the table, please, Ruach Kakadash. For the mature woman. We have the four of pentacles. The mature woman, please, Ruach Kakadash. We have the Page of Pentacles. Come on, Lord. We had the Knight of Swords that flew out onto the floor.
We have the Two of Swords. Clarification of the Mature Woman, please. And we have the Three of Wands. With this Mature Woman, um, she's trying to protect some finances here. I said that earlier um, with the Four of Pentacles here. With this Four of Pentacles here. I don't know. She's trying to protect um, some finances from this Queen of Wands here. That's touching this Four of Pentacles. This mature woman. Um, she, as I was saying that uh, with this, with the Chariot in reverse in the Moon card, that there was some type of um, secret that was wanting to be revealed but they were trying to protect some type of finances here they were resting on it with this four of pentacles next to this four of swords here they were resting they were waiting because i feel like they were wanting success they were wanting a new beginning or there's something about a business here with this page of pentacles touching this page of wands touching this page of pentacles so i as i as i'm saying this mature woman is unclear too she doesn't she she can't see clearly as well but she's reflecting she's reflecting on something reflecting on the past she's trying to weigh out her options whether she should move forward or if she should stay or what she should leave she doesn't know quite yet because she's still stuck in the Two of Swords um, mindset right here. I'm trying to make a decision, but she's blindfolded. But she's trying to make figure out with the Three of Wands what um, is best to leave and what's best to take. Some type of reflection about the past. She doesn't want to walk away from her... Um, she doesn't want to walk away from some relationship here. She doesn't want to do that. She's trying to remain strong and as I said, protect her protect protect her possessions from this Queen of Wands here. Because there's some type of battle here with this Queen of Wands. This is how it looks on my table. Okay, you got the four of the um, Queen of Wands with the Four of Pentacles with the Five of Swords here. So this mature woman is trying to save her strength she doesn't want to walk away with this eight of cups in reverse she's trying to protect her finances she's trying to protect her possessions whether that is her family her home whatever it is she's trying to protect that from this queen of wands here this karmic energy here because she is sideways she's not standing upright um and this gossip, this talk, this um, betrayal, these lies here with the um, the five of swords. Okay, but it's sideways. And then we have this page of swords. There's something mental going on here with this nine of pentacles, which also could be represent um, somebody who's willing to do anything to keep up with the Joneses here um, and what's so funny is it's right next to the page of Pentacles will make it ten of Pentacles and it's on top of the gift card here so there's some somebody is saying that this uh, luxurious this luxurious this access to this luxurious lifestyle here um, this beginning of this new business adventure is a gift from God because I this spiritual this gift here is a spiritual gift from above but there's some type of mental um, illusions delusions um, somebody who needs constructive criticism somebody who needs to be sat down and actually told here um, something I don't know what they need to be told but their constructive criticism 
But this mature woman is trying to remain strong and um, protect what's truly hers, I suppose. Clarification of the courthouse, please, Brewer Kakadash. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The lovers. Somebody's being thrown back into the water here with the Five of Cups. Um, somebody is crying over spilt milk here with this lover's card and this new offer here, this new proposal here. Somebody is not happy and they're being juggled here with the Two of Pentacles again. There's a decision that needs to be made with this Two of Swords and it was the... Um, there was another deuce out here somewhere. Two of Wands. Clarification of the courthouse, please, Ruwak Kakadash. Clarification of the courthouse, please. We have the Five of Swords again. And if you can see on there, on this deck, Five of Swords, there's a battle going on. There's some type of fight, gossip, um, betrayal, stabbed in the back. Clarification of the courthouse. We have the Knight of Pentacles sideways. Clarification of the courthouse, please. We have the hangman in reverse. Clarification of the courthouse, please, Ruach Kakadash. We have the death card. And that death card flew um, right on top of this page of swords here. But it's still, I moved it, it's touching the page of swords. We have the Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, the Seven of Pentacles, and Temperance. So, so what I'm getting with this courthouse is somebody wants, um, there's a lot of talk, there's a lot of fights, there's a battle that's going on in this courthouse. Um, and I feel like it's about finances here. It's about some some type of business. This um, woman is trying to protect her um, finance. Her finance is about a business or her finance is about a child. And there's definitely some type of fight that's going on in the court system at this courthouse that has to do with that. Um, with these finances with the Knight of Pentacles sideways here. Um and this Knight of Pentacles is going sideways toward this gift, towards the Nine of um, Pentacles here. So I feel like there may be some um, financial fight. They're trying to stop um, someone from taking a home here. This luxury living here. And the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles is right next to each other as well. All three of these pages are next to each other. Hold on. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Page of Wands. And the Page of Pentacles again. So this could be about a business. And it could be about a child here. Or it could be about two businesses. But there's definitely some type of blackish that's trying to... Um, there's, there's some type of blockage here with some finance. They're trying to block this finance, um, this this gift of luxury with this um, Knight of Pentacles sideways on top of this Nine of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles on top of the Nine of Pentacles. So somebody's trying to stop this in a court of law um, with the hangman. Um, in reverse, they're not trying to change. They're not going to give up. They're not. Um, they're they're not accepting anything other than what 
um, they they want here. And there's going to be an ending to this. There's, there's a cycle that um, is going to end and one's going to begin here. Okay. Yeah, there's a decision that they want to make. They haven't made the decision yet. But um, they were building something. They planted something in the ground here. And they're trying to reap their harvest. And they're going to wait patiently for it. I guess they're trying to wait it out with the illumination um, card next to it. Um, and the five of pentacles afterwards. So I'm getting that somebody is being patient. Because somebody was being patient with this court system here. Because they were waiting for some something whatever they were working on this decision to be made whatever it was that they planted in the ground they were waiting patiently for it to be exposed with this illumination um card here um with the five of pentacles next behind that has nothing to do with something about work has something to do with finances here somebody didn't want to work anymore um somebody has lost interest in working here and they're um, sending a message forward about financial um, entitlement. They they want some type of um, child support and some type of spousal support from this king of childless. Yeah, that's what they want. That's the truth. That's what they want. And that could be this mature woman here. Or it could be this um, queen of wands here. But with this court situation, I'm more than likely um, believing that it's the mature woman, which would be the wife. I'm almost done. Everybody's calling me. My time's up. I'm so sorry. This is so long. Clarification of the gift card, please, Ruach Hakadosh, so we can close this out. We have the Emperor in reverse. We have the Three of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles sideways again. On top of the Nine of Pentacles sideways. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, with this emperor here in reverse, and this nine of pent this knight of pentacles that's eclipsing this um, emperor underneath it with the nine of pentacles and on top of it as well with the nine of pentacles, and they're both sideways. So this is what I'm getting with this. This emperor is working with someone. This this is a collaborative um, business agreement, right? For access to a luxury lifestyle with the Nine of Pentacles, a luxury home, a luxury lifestyle. Because it's not upright and it's not in reverse. So, um, in reverse, it will represent the loss of the luxury lifestyle, right? And upright, this is the luxury lifestyle that you actually live. So, um, for it to come out two times sideways on top of this gift card. The Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. This is access. It's access granted, but it's not theirs. Okay. With this Emperor in reverse here. The one that I told you um, was resting and is a thief. He's on top of the thief card. He's the first one to touch the thief card. So, um, he may have some type of fraud cases. I don't know. He may be into fraudulent behavior. I don't know. But there's some type of entity attachment with that theft um, card. Okay? And there's some type of rest that's going on here. This emperor who isn't honest, he's working with someone. 
with this three of pentacles there's some type of teamwork effort going on um, where there's some lies there's some gossip um, I told you that there's some type of mental um, illness here some mental instability here um, with this nine of pentacles they're using um, the access the luxury um, that's going to end soon I feel like there's the death this is connecting the death card and it's connecting to the hangman so I don't I don't feel like this access to this luxury is going to last um, last long here and we have the um, six of pentacles here that is eclipsing the gossip the gossip the Queen of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Okay. So this Queen of Wands is in this relationship for financial entitlement. That's what the Six of Pentacles represents. Financial entitlement, um, uh, like child support, like um, somebody paying your bills for you. Financial entitlement. A check coming in from a court, a settlement, some something um, like that. And it's on top of the four of pentacles. So somebody's trying to protect that and control this type of finances or how they're getting access to this luxurious lifestyle. And we have the knight of wands at the bottom of, de of the deck. So this emperor here that's on top of this gift card is not um, faithful. This is fast action. Um, It's, it's a fast acting creative fiery energy here and then we have the justice card and the ace of swords so somebody wants to be victorious here somebody wants to be victorious here and stealing something with this seven of swords this may be this queen of wands here that wants to be victorious and stealing um, some treachery here um, they're moving fast. I said that earlier with this chariot card. Um, they want to be successful here. The chariot represents fast movement, represents a vehicle, represents success. Okay. Um, in a battle mode here, some type of fight. They want success in this fight here. And they're going to be patient. They want the balance. They're going to wait for it. They have the time to wait for it. They're willing to wait for it. They're willing to let everything balance out and smooth over because they want success they want the sun they want the sun they want something to be illuminated um, about the end of a relationship here with the six of swords so that they can move forward okay into a new beginning the ace of Pente ace of pentacles um into some success this is all about finances here um, this is Portia Williams reading so I would say that she wants this this last bit is for her she wants um, information to be revealed about an ending of a relationship so that she can move forward with the six of swords into success she can walk through this door this ace of pentacles this windfall this lottery ticket here who this queen of swords that was up here the first card out with this Queen of Swords wants this. The Queen of Swords, she wants to sit on her throne. She wants to sit in that chair. With who? This official person. She truly wants that. And what's after it? The fool. Somebody's not thinking about the consequences. They're not thinking about the consequences of their actions. They're just hoping and having faith that they um, are going to fly once they jump off of this cliff, okay? But um, they don't. They haven't thought about whether or not if they have wings and they can actually fly. They haven't consulted anybody if there was any if there was any angels there to catch them or anything. They're not thinking about it. They're acting very young-minded. They're not thinking about no consequences. Who is doing this? This high priest is here. She's manifesting this. And I also wanted to say um, earlier here with that Queen of Wands, 
uh, not with the Queen of Wands. When the Queen of Swords came out and the next card was the Ace of Wands sideways here. That there was some type of spell casted. But I didn't want to say that. But um, there's some... I'm getting... Uh, spells being casted to steal um, that official person away from this um, mature woman only because this high priestess card has come out with this wand and it came sideways so this purse um, this queen and it was next to this queen of swords here Okay, this Queen of Swords casted this. She waved that wand there. But when she waved it, she wasn't seeing clearly. I told y'all that with that Two of Swords here. She had clouded vision. But when she waved it, it was to steal something from, well, this official person was the first card. It was to steal this official person from this mature woman. This high priestess did that. And there's a message that's going to come out about that. Or a message that came out about that. About this new love offer. There was a proposal. Um, and a new beginning. And this may have been bef before the world. We know that it was before the world. But um, they want a new beginning. They want a new success. And they want to plant something in the ground and start over. They want to grow something new. Yep. These lovers. Yep. Um, something is getting thrown back into the water though. I, I'm, I'm feeling like this is, you know, like when you go fishing, right? And you have, um, you have, uh, a certain, um, okay. Like for trout or whatever, the trout has to be, um, a particular age for you to, um, to keep it right. And to um so that you can eat it but if it's if it doesn't meet a particular weight or a particular size you have to cast it back into the water and there's some type of regrets because you don't you've been put you put in so much work you put in so much time in catching this fish but it's not big enough so you have to throw it back and you feel some type of way that's what this um five of cups is feeling yeah there's a decision that needs to be made there's a juggling a balancing act of finances here um with the Hierophant, there's some type of court case, some type of institution, some type of divine higher authority um, learning that's about to happen for this Knight of Chalice, for this um, fast movement um, proposal here. Um, somebody wants to celebrate. She may want to celebrate here. Um, but there's some on organizations. There's some deceptions going on. There's not... Um, everything hasn't been revealed. Um, yeah, and there's going to be some betrayal here, some backstabbing. But they want for finances. This is all about finances, and the tower is going to happen. So there's going to be a sudden upheaval. There's going to be a sudden ending for this for this empress here. So this is the second time I've seen the empress. So it may be possible that Portia is pregnant with child here, but um, or that may be the goal. Because this was the harvest card that was before that, right? And then there's some type of betrayal here with the Ten of Swords. With this Tower card, um, is a sudden upheaval of a home here. So she may lose access to a home, be put out of a home. Somebody was put out of a home. This Empress is. This woman. Somebody may be with child, as I was saying. Some, this star. Whoever this empress is, that is the star, has a secret, or the secret is that they don't know yet that they're going to be put out of a home. Yeah, they're being manipulated. Um, or she may be doing the manipulation for a home. So, I, and I told you about the um, magic here. The spells that's being casted. There's some lies. There's some... Um, there's some things that are being done in the dark here. And the nine of um, pentacles came out two times with this emperor. So it could be some type of sex magic that's going on here. 
because the nine of pentacles represents sex work okay and they both were sideways so they weren't upright okay so, so it's somebody who's willing to do anything for a luxurious lifestyle even casting spells even telling lies and um doing things in the dark that no one knows and did I not say casting spells with the Ace of Wands with this Magician card? That just flew out my hand. This Magician card casting spells with this Ace of Wands here. And it's, it's, it's burdensome. Okay, it's, it's going to be a burden. And I told you about this Ten of Wands. This Ten of Wands that came out earlier. How this person who did this couldn't see they was um lack clarity with that two of swords they can't see what's in front of them they can't see what's behind them they can't even see anything and they're carrying all these burdens and they don't know what path that they're going down they didn't even know they don't know what path they're going down and this path that they're going down is burdensome the knight of swords and it's coming it's going to come fast this truth this truth is going to come fast this information is going to come out fast. It's going to happen very quickly. With this person from their past here. So um, someone may go back to their person from their past here. This king of chalice is going to go back to somebody from their past. Damn. And the will of fortune. For their will of fortune. For finances here or um for it's like a karmic cycle is what i'm getting as well um it's like a revolving door this is what this person does with this will of fortune yeah that's what this person does it's the devil that's what they do lie steal um trick deceive all for access to this will of fortune that nine of uh, pentacles that gift that i told you with this emperor in reverse here and this nine of pent pentacles coming out two times it's a trick it's what they do yep to get women the queen of chalice and he's going to try to um come back to his person from the past that person from the past with that six of cups that woman that was in that water um He's going to try to come back to her. See? Six of Wands. He's going to send a message forward to go, to go back to her. Um, and she may... And it's going to cause some fights. She may... Um, it may cause some competition. He wants them to compete against each other. That's what it is. He wants them to compete for finances because they don't want to work. Yep. Seven of uh, Wands. Who's going to um, jump through the hoops? Who's going to fight? Who's going to fight? The, um, where did the five of wands go? They got the five of wands. They're guarded. They're protected. They're ready to battle competition because somebody doesn't want to work. The five of pentacles, they're not um, They're not making the money that they want to make at their job or they don't want to work. Okay. They want to leave a job. And the seven of wands represents battles, fights, jumping through hoops, jumping through loops. Jumping through holes, trying to find a way to success. To who? This King of Wands. He has all. He has these women jumping through all of these for his own liking, for his own pleasure, for his own. Um, uh, I already said pleasure, but yeah, for his pleasure, for his desires here. Illumination. The lights being shown. And he does this by offering a proposal. Coming into union. Um, children here. Very quickly. Acting very young. Very prematurely. Um, with the page of chalice. And judgment is called down. That, that's how. Um, there's some type of balancing that's going to happen towards him. Um, maybe because he had a, a what they call those um, a love child a child of passion here strength the eight of swords the three of swords heartbreak 
Two of Wands, Ten of Chalice, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Nine of Swords. So what I'm getting here with this end, if Portia does marry um, Simon, that official person who's the King of Pentacles here, but he's sideways. He's sideways. There's some type of legal activity going on here. Okay, with the King of Pentacles. Upright, the King of Pentacles is a financially stable man. In reverse, he'll do anything for money. Sideways, there's some illegal activity going on here. I'm just saying. But if Portia wants to have success with this man, um, this financial entitlement with this man, she may very well get that. She may get that ten of uh, that happy life, that ten of pen, uh, uh, cups, and it's ten of pentacles. Um, but there's going to be an ending to this relationship, okay? And when that relationship ends, there's going to be an entity attachment. There is an entity attachment already. I showed you here with this nine of swords here with the when that person with their face covered. With this fire around this in this circle with these swords that would form a, a witch's circle here when they cast this spell. This cast this spell, this queen of swords did that to steal this official person from this woman. And with this seven, with this uh, chariot, I keep saying the seven, a chariot. It's the number seven, which is the chariot. I feel like this queen of swords used her authority, used her power. With this page of um, pentacles, this four of pentacles, this queen of pentacles, this karmic woman who will marry for money. Okay. She used her power to block this uh, mature woman from coming forward and revealing this secret here. Okay. I do get that. I'm feeling like um, this mature woman, she didn't want to do this, but she was. She was really contemplating, thinking of revealing this secret, but she was blocked here. And I wouldn't be surprised if... Uh, Portia had gotten things removed here or she had stood in her way to block her but um, that nine of swords here is an entity attachment it's nightmares and there's a four of wands at the end so if Portia does get um, married to this man here to Simon um, it's going to come with a lot of um, heartache nightmares um, heartbreak and um, a lot of sleepless nights, okay? And I'm not saying that because I'm saying that. I'm just saying that that's what the cards just said once I read it from the beginning to the end, okay? And so, um, John Fiel is asking for forgiveness. I don't know um, who needs to forgive who, but I will tell you that healing Portia Williams and Simon Healing starts from within. So you have to forgive yourself from the decisions that you made. Your own decisions that you made, okay? And then from there, um, you can forgive others and others can forgive you. Or if they don't choose to forgive you, you still forgiving yourself. And that's mainly how you release um, entity attachments as well. Fasting, prayer, forgiveness, okay? And the entity attachment card came out a few times um, in this reading. So, Ruwak Hakadash, what messages of healing do we have for Portia Williams and Simon? What messages would you like to get out so we can close this um, this reading out? Please and thank you. For Portia Williams, please. And thank you.
We got abundance that flew out onto the floor. Okay. So the first card that flew out was growth. We have movement into balance in the reverse. We have feminine energy. We have sexual energy. Creativity. We have divine timing. And we have home. Okay. Let me get the whispers. Ruach Kakadash, what else do we have for Portia Williams, please? Please and thank you, Ruach Kakadash. What messages do we have? What whispers of healing do we have for Portia Williams? Please and thank you. <laughs> we got sleep. We got hydrate, reawaken, mental repetition, we have boundaries, hidden blessings, compassion, and awareness within. And last but not least, self love. Okay. So what I'm getting here is there's some depth, there's some growth that needs to be had. The growth, excuse me, and the feminine energy here. Um and moving growth and moving and balancing your feminine energy and your sexual energy here. Um, it's out of balance here. Because this was in reverse here. Um, and it's divine timing that you uh, move into this space. Um, and find other ways to be creative. And to um, excel, excel yourself. Okay. Because all of this... Um, for a home is ridiculous. I said that earlier with that nine of pentacles that came out two times sideways is for access to a home. Um, and this home card um, came out as well. So yeah, this is access to a luxurious style of a home here. Um, but there, And there's some mental repetition that's going on here. Somebody is telling themselves something over and over again. Um, and I don't believe that they're being tr quite um, truthful with themselves about whatever it is that they're telling. They need to set boundaries, okay? Um, there's some boundaries that have been crossed over um, that or there's some boundaries that have been um, straight up like ignored is what I'm getting. There needs to be a, a, weaken, a reawakening of the spirit from within here. Learning how to forgive yourself from the things that you have done that you may not think um, nobody has, know, has known because 
um, but your answers are within yourself. This may be from deep um, rooted childhood memories here. Um, there's some healing that needs to be done there that has to do with childhood memories is what I just got. Um, somebody is having some uh, tr uh, troubles or problems sleeping here. With the sleep card, you need to get some sleep and drink some water here. Um, I feel like you're wanting compassion for your blessings that you kept a secret here. But um, with that, um, because, and that's what I feel like this hidden blessings comes with that abundance card that fell on the floor. But it fell on the floor, so I don't believe that these are are blessings of abundance, okay? Yeah, look at that. At the bottom of the deck is stripping illusions. These are illusions. I told you there's some type of mental illness going on here. Some type of mental um, delusion with that nine of swords. We have the two of swords, um, the seven of swords, the six of swords, um, the five of swords that came, the page of swords came out. It's a lot of air energy. A lot of mental um, us instability here with uh, stripping illusions. There's some lies that's being told here and bad karma, omens. There's some karma, some omens that's being told here um, that, that is coming with the um, illusions. That is coming with these illusions. And I told you that with that nine of swords, with that entity attachment, um, duality, balancing the light side and the dark side. And I said that earlier when that, at the beginning of this um, reading, when that entity attachment came out, not the entity attachment, the two of swords came out. When somebody would, I said somebody couldn't see clearly, which was Portia because this is her reading. So she can't see clearly. Her vision is clouded somewhere. And I also came back and I showed you the yin and the yang um, that was on that woman's chest here. Let me get it for you. This two of swords. With this yin and the yang. That's sitting on her chest here. And I was saying how she's unbalanced. And it's come out where it says. Movement into balance. Which came out in reverse. And the balance was. To have growth between your feminine energy and your sexual energy. The, um, balancing that out um, with the duality, the light and the dark side here. And I was also telling you about how there was some type of spell casting going on. Some type of rituals that was going on here that has to do with some type of sex work here. With that nine of pentacles that came out two times sideways. All right. I'm just saying. And then at the end of the, after that, the um, duality is forgiveness. So you're going to have to learn how to strip your illusions to balance your duality, your light and your dark side and forgive yourself for whatever has transpired in the past. Okay. And learning how to um, balance that energy here is going to uh, move you into the, um, the energy of abundance because there is a gift for you that spirit has for you if you can um learn to master that to self-love to take care of yourself sacred space the next answer the next card afterwards after i said self-love is sacred space so you need to go in within seclusion create you a sacred space find you a sacred space outside of whatever it is that you are doing and moving in the negative aspect because um, there needs to be movement into balance. Why? Self-love, the next card. And it's going to be a slow but steady road. But road, that's this journey card right here that was at the end of the um, deck in the house card next. And there's some imprisonment, okay? There's imprisonment next. I guess that's concern expect expectation change a child in the coffin great fortune unexpected income so listen 
slow but steady in the death card. So listen, I hope um I hope um Cause that coffin came out and the um f the great the great the great fortune unexpected income and a message came all on top of this child card so here this is what i'm getting hopefully this is not what's going to happen but there's definitely a change that's coming i don't know if somebody is going to in going to um prison here because we had the um jail card and then the um Past, present, and future. A struggle. Okay. <coughs> With this imprisonment card, there's some type of rat here. Um, I don't know if somebody's going to... I, I remember I told y'all about this King of Pentacles who came out sideways on top of this um, official person. There's some type of fraud... Um, something to do with money, something to do, um, something has to do something with money. It's the King of Pentacles. He'll make money regardless and however he needs to make money, he will make, he's a, um, clout chaser. He wants to get to the bag. Okay. And he doesn't particularly mind how he gets to this bag. Okay. Whether it's illegal or not. So there's some type of scheme that's going on with this official person and I feel like it may end up may end this person in jail with this imprisonment card and somebody is expecting this or they're not going to be expecting this or they should be expecting this information to come forward they should be expecting a big change okay a big change um, and there's some type of child here okay there's a big change between a child. There's a big change that's coming because another child is coming in. Or there's a type of lifestyle that's um, being changed here. And there's a concern here. And there's an old man that is in concern here. So this man may be in concern about a home situation here. He may change a home situation. He may be... Um, he has, some, he has some type of concern that has to do with finances, a home, and a journey to some type of imprisonment here. And he's worried about his income. Somebody is worried about some finances here. Somebody may be up to some tricks about a finance here, about some finances here. But there's something that's coming to an end here, okay? I don't know if um, there's going to be... Um, an ending to a pregnancy here, an ending to a relationship here, an ending to um, some finances here. There's definitely some type of ending. Okay. It may come in a message here. I don't know. It may have something to do with an occupation. But somebody was being a false person here. Somebody um, could get someone locked up here. For some fraud. For stealing some type of money. Because I do remember that there was some money being stolen. Something was stolen. Some treachery that was going on. Um, the abundance card did come out. Somebody may steal some type of finances here. Or somebody may be sick as well. With the coffin card. Um, somebody may have a terminal illness. And um, they're going to... Um, through this marriage, through this union, they may um, come out abundant because they have a child here. Um, when this person passes away, if this person passes away, somebody may be expecting someone to pass away. And when they pass away, they're going to get an unexpected income, some um, great fortune. Or um, they may cause this person to pass away. And that's where this imprisonment card is coming from but there's um, some big changes that's coming and it has to do with the child it has to do with the home and it has to do with finances okay it definitely has something to do with the home okay with the family room all right with that Ruach Hakadosh thank you for watching um, 
don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm sorry this took so long. I did do two full decks. Um, yeah. So, it's a real in-depth uh, reading. If you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If not, oh well. I appreciate you watching, though. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye.